Hi, my name is Aditya, and I was a participant and subsequent third place winner of the 2021 inaugural Kick Student Paper Challenge. I thought I would share my experience in this challenge and provide some tips and tricks as you embark on this journey. When I started searching for my topic, it was a time when a lot of bars and restaurants were reporting large COVID outbreaks. Watching this news while sitting on the couch inspired me to think about how I could dive deeper into this issue and see if there is an underlying trend behind why some bars and restaurants are having significant COVID outbreaks and not others. Based on this, I would recommend you to focus your data science exploration on a topic that's both meaningful to you and potentially has societal importance. After deciding on my topic, I looked into NSF-funded COVID research using the KIX tool for viewing these project abstracts in clusters filtered by keywords. This helped me find any related work I could review and assess my topic for novelty. I then spent a bunch of time exploring the data, analyzing specific sections of it, taking a broad view to grasp the big picture, and understanding how each section played a role. It's important to remember that this stage is a process, and you shouldn't get discouraged too easily if you aren't able to find any meaningful insights just yet. When I was looking at weekly visit counts to bars and restaurants, I didn't see much of a difference between visiting patterns to locations with reported outbreaks and those with no reported outbreaks. However, when I limited visits to those where the person was in the location for more than 20 minutes, I found that there was a correlation between a sharp spike to these long duration visits to bars and restaurants and reported outbreaks at these locations. By focusing on this more nuanced section of visits, it eliminated any noise from quick visits by masked delivery drivers or people picking up meals outside the restaurant, which aren't close contacts and likely don't develop into COVID-19 cases. I'm glad I went through this journey because in the end, I had the opportunity to present my research in a webinar alongside professors who shared their own research. It was great to be able to hear their work and discuss with them both before and after the webinar. Ultimately, I was able to get in touch with professors at Stanford and Iowa State, where we have taken my research into a new direction, focus on the economic impacts brought by COVID-19 to different types of point of interest locations and richer versus poorer zip codes. Some final thoughts I have for you are to have a goal and purpose behind your exploration. Locate data sets that can help you achieve this goal. Be open to changing your thesis during this process. Note that visualizing data is one of the best ways to really understand a data set. For me, I used a large SQL organized database. So making these initial visualizations was critical to unraveling the connections in the database. Lastly, I'd recommend to start drafting your paper once you have about 50% of your expected insights complete. It's essential to communicate what your results mean to us. I hope this challenge is a fun and rewarding experience as it was for me. Thanks.